Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. Welcome back to Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'm gonna be putting some popular TikTok makeup hacks to the test. Okay, so I've found some very interesting TikTok makeup hacks. They look promising, and so I've compiled a list that I'm gonna be testing out for you guys today. This one is a lip hack. So this girl, she's applying concealer to her lips first and then just blending that out. Then she's going in with some yellow eyeshadow. She's patting that all over, followed by some red lip cream and then lip gloss and voila, we've got this pretty gradient lip. Okay, so let's block out my lips with some concealer. So she literally applies it like a lip gloss. And then she grabs a blender and just blends it all out. This is a lot of concealer. And today my lips aren't in the best condition, so they look extra chapped right now. Next, I'm gonna grab this yellow eyeshadow from my BH Run Wild palette. And then just apply that on top. Oh my god, my lips look like the desert. <laughs> so next she applies like a red lip cream. I guess like red liquid lipstick will do the same thing. So she applies it just like towards the center. I'm gonna just pop some lip gloss on now. I mean, if I keep blending it, I think it could work, but it's just not like as quick and smooth as how she did it. And she did use a lip gloss that had an applicator. Mine doesn't have an applicator. I think we're getting there. It just doesn't look as nice. Maybe I need like 10 filters to make this work. But yeah, this is my gradient lip. It's kind of like, give me sunset vibes, if you know what I mean. It's definitely not gonna last very long because this is just gonna melt off. And especially if you're wearing a mask, say goodbye to it. Next up, we have a vial blush technique using red lipstick so she applies it all over like just around her cheeks and then she blends it up she starts contouring applies concealer and then foundation goes up on top she bounces a beauty blender on top and she is glowing Wow. I have never thought of that being a hack, applying red lipstick to half your face. But let's try it out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really nervous because I don't know how I'm gonna blend this. Okay, so she applies about this much. And then she does like this line across and then just a little bit here. Then she starts to blend this. Oh my gosh. I mean, at least it's blending. I was like worried that this is not going to blend. <laughs> kind of blends it like pretty much like downwards, connects with the cheek. And then this, I guess she just diffuses it. Well, it's, it looks like it's pretty much on her whole forehead, really. I look sunburned. I look like I have an allergic reaction to something. Can you imagine even coming up with this? Hack like I don't even know how someone invents this. I look so irritated. I look like I fell asleep by the pool. Comparing the two side by side, she actually looks a lot more red than me. Then she goes in with contour, so she kind of like contours her nose. Next up, I'm going in with concealer. She kind of just like applies a little bit under here. And then just here, just to lift up the eye a little bit, down the bridge of the nose, and then just like on the chin. Now I'm going to blend that out. It's not looking any better. I definitely look like I have an allergic reaction. That's blended. Okay, so that didn't make a huge difference, but she still goes in with foundation, and I think that is what saves the look. So this foundation bit is a little bit confusing because TikTok, things are so like short, right? And it's just short snippets of things. So you can't really see what she's fully doing, but it looks like she's kind of just drawing like a semicircle on her cheek here like that. And then the other side, she just draws like an incomplete one. And then I think the center just is like a line. And then the next part, she just blends it. I don't come up with this, I just I just follow. Okay, I mean, it's looking less irritated now because my foundation is knocking out that red. Is it giving me that blushed from within look? Kinda. It also looks like I just drank a lot of alcohol and I'm getting that like Asian 
blush. Okay, so I'm done with this viral blush technique. What do we think, guys? I don't know, I just feel like that was a lot of work. That was like a lot of lipstick to apply to get such a sort of like subtle, glowy, blushed cheeks and even like the forehead. This one is a contouring one, a nose contouring hack. So apparently this type of contouring is gonna give you that sort of like button nose. So there's a lot more lines than I would normally do it in my day-to-day -day nose contouring. Um, yeah, it looks quite intricate actually. So she, I think she's using a cream first and she blends it out and then applies powder on either side of the nose and then lets that bake for a little bit, dusts that off and applies highlighter. Hmm. She looks like she has a button nose. So starting just like underneath her eyebrow, goes like this, it draws two lines, two lines going down. I can already see my nose is gonna be wonky. Look at that. I'm not very, not very good at this. Not very steady. Oh my God, this is, I already can tell my nose is going this way. It's gonna be blended. It should be fine. And then she kind of connects this part up. Like she kind of, oops, maybe not that much contour, but she just like draws a line and creates like two triangles here. And then she draws like a line just like across and then just at the tip as well across. So like a, a little box, I guess. And then, oh, this is very intricate. And another line goes out this way and then this way. <laughs> oh my God, did you see that? <laughs> I'm a mess today, guys. It kind of just cuts across the nostril like this. Why do I feel like I'm playing hangman for some reason? Wow, I think I did this wrong. Or did I do it right? I mean, her whole nostril is kind of filled in. This is the part that we blend. Tap, 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 tap. I'm just undoing all my hard work. Hmm. It's not looking quite like her one. Just being very light with this tapping, but I just feel like it's all gone now. And that's how to make your nose contouring disappear. I'm gonna grab some powder. This one is from Fenty. And then she like kind of uses that on the side, on both sides. <coughs> I just inhaled some of that. She looked like she had a lot of powder on. I think she goes in with powder. She kind of just like goes over and creates that line again. or almost kind of sets the contour. Okay, so I ended up putting just a little bit of powder in the center. I think it's starting to look like, like a button now. She dusts this off and then she uses a brush to apply her highlighter. Why does mine look tragic? Mine looks very, very bad. Something went wrong there, guys. I'm not quite sure which part. Maybe it was just like from the get-go, I maybe mapped out my nose a little bit different or maybe because I have a different nose to start off with. It's definitely too much highlighter for me. I don't normally put this much highlighter on. She has a really cute nose after. I just look a little bit tragic. I look like I tried to contour my nose and it failed because that's exactly what happened. The next makeup hack is an ombre thick liner using eyeshadow. So she actually starts off by concealing Concealer. So she creates the rough shape using concealer. Then on the outer corners, she applies like a dark brown, followed by like a foil blue-ish shade, and then lashes. It looks pretty good. We do have a very different eye shape though. It's almost like what you would do with like a cut crease. You know, you kind of like create a shape with the concealer first. Pop some concealer on and then I kind of like look up so I know how high I need to go. And then I'm just going to start mapping out the shape. So towards the end, I'll flick up. So I'm just gonna fill that in now. So that's the rough shape. Okay, so I've mapped out the shape. It took me a while just to do this to try to get them as even as possible. Now I'm gonna go in with a darker shadow. I'm gonna be using my Pixi Tones and Textures palette. I'm gonna be using like maybe these two darker shades. I'm just placing that color within that concealer area I created. I'm just going to start blending this color forward now. I kind of just realized that her eye is like super like up like this. I guess mine's a, a softer. Cat eye. I think like that's pretty good because I'm gonna layer another color in the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with these two shades. We've got Seaside and Melon. I'm gonna mix them together. And I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of Leo from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the Amreezy palette. I'm just gonna pat that on. Okay, so that's what it's looking like and it blended together pretty easily. I'm gonna quickly do this eye and then pop some lashes on and then we can compare. 
Okay, so I'm done with both eyes. I've popped on lashes. This is Feminist from my brand Petite Cosmetics. You guys can get 20% off using my code TINA20. So what do you guys think of this look? It is very dramatic for me, I must admit. But I do really like her technique of layering the eyeshadows on top of concealer because it just makes everything pop. It makes it so much more intense and vibrant. Now we have an eyelash curler hack. So you can use your eyelash curler as a cut crease guide. Oh, that's crisp. And then she also uses it to create a winged liner. But that's not it, there's more. She can use it to just perfect the arch of her brows. And of course, you can curl your lashes. Crease first. I don't know how high I want mine. I'm just going to use Daily Dose from my Pixie palette. Just blending that brown. I'm scared. Oh, it does work. I mean, it works. I think I just held the eyelash curler on a weird angle. Like it's like sideways. Let me, let me try this eye. I'm gonna go, I actually dipped into a warmer color as well. So I'm just gonna grab a bit of snug and then kind of mix. I'm just going all three shades. Just whatever browns you like. I'm not going to hold on a weird angle. I'm going to straighten it up a little bit more. Oh, it's just so awkward holding this. Are we ready for the moment of truth? It worked. It definitely worked. Got two rainbows on my eyes. So I think I just need more practice with where to position it. I wonder if I could just save this one. It's better. A spoon works as well because I think anything with like that kind of curvature that matches the eye definitely works. This is actually really handy. Okay, so next she uses the side of the eyelash curler, places it against her eye just where you would normally wing out your liner. And then she grabs a brush and I think she's using eyeshadow. She kind of just like lightly fills that area in. And then she removes it. Oh, okay. Did you guys see that? Wow, okay, okay. I think this might be like one of my favorite ones so far. I think the only thing is, depending on your curler, the length of this, it's limited. So I've kind of gone the max. If you like to wing your liner even further, it's gonna be a little bit difficult uh, because there's this like little ridge there. But I guess you can kind of just take it off and keep going with it. Pretty good, let me do the other eye. Wait, how do I hold it this side? Like these? I'm so confused. Like, how do I hold it? How does she hold? Oh, this side feels so awkward. I think because I'm holding it with my left hand and I just feel like it's not very stable. <laughs> this one's very high up and it's my fault, guys. Okay, I'm just going to like fill in a little bit more. We're not done yet. We're going to do the brows. Don't move your eyebrows when you're doing this. They looked a little bit straight. I guess I was expecting more of a curve. This one, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of using the curve on this to create the arch. Mm, it, it works. It can work. I guess it depends on what you normally like. If you like a really arch brow, this is probably not going to be suitable for you because it kind of gives you like an almost like just a very slight curve, not very arched at all. And then lastly, you can use your eyelash curler as an eyelash curler. Pretty straightforward, so I'm just gonna like quickly curl my lashes. So since I've already curled my lashes, this next hack is for mascara. Okay, so first you need to curl your lashes. Check, I've already done that. And then use a mask applicator with an angled tip and your favorite mascara. Place the tool on your lash line and then apply the mascara. And then finish off with extra mascara. Wow, the before and after. So let's give that a go, but I don't have I don't have the same applicator she does. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Clio Kill Lash Mascara. So I'm just gonna place the spatula behind my lashes and you can kind of see them. Oh, and then I'm going to just wiggle my mascara and just kind of like sandwich my lashes against the spatula. Oh my God, my eyes are stinging, I need to blink. Oh my God, I just clumped up all my lashes. Okay, I mean, I think this is a good hack. The only problem is my lashes look like rubbish right now because do you remember when I had a lash lift? Well, they've dropped and then they kind of go all like 
like they're just not straight and they're not curled they're kind of like in limbo and so they don't look amazing like hers if you're someone who tends to get their mascara on their eyelid accidentally i think having something like this is really handy plus you can just kind of wash it and reuse it again i think maybe even for lower lashes it will work too i usually smudge on my lower lashes more than my top lashes Yes, 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 yes to this hack on your lower lashes. Oh my god, I love this way better on my lower lashes. You don't have to ruin your eyeshadow, you don't have to get it on your skin. I'm sold, I like this hack. This next TikTok is going to show you how to get faux freckles. So I think she's using a cream contour and like a little palette knife or something. She pops little dots of it on her finger and then presses it against her skin and voila. It actually looks pretty natural. I'm going to try this hack out with the Huda Beauty Tantour in medium. So I have a little spatula tool with a point at the end. I'm pretty sure you can use even like a toothpick or something. Grabbing a little bit of that. Okay, so I've popped little dots on my finger. Now I'm just going to like just dab it on. Oh. Maybe I just gotta pat it out a little bit more on this side to make it look a bit more natural. And I think if you wanna do like little spots, you can kind of just go in as well with the spatula. Mm. Um, okay, so why? Why? Just um, make sure you look at your finger before you press it because it could have all smudged and then you're just putting a smudge on your nose. Oh, it was looking so good before I messed it up. It's okay. It's contour. I'm just gonna blend it up and down and it's nose contour. Voila, we have fixed it. I think it's kind of cute. I wonder if they'll just sort of like fade throughout the day. You probably need to like use powder to to set this because it is cream contour. It will probably just sort of like disappear a couple hours later. So I think I would go in with translucent powder to set this and then yeah, we're good to go. I don't mind the sack. I think it's really cute actually. I should maybe do more like faux freckles more often. That's all the TikTok makeup hacks I have for you guys today. If there's any other hacks you want me to try, whether it be makeup, beauty, skincare, fashion, maybe even food, please tag me. My TikTok handle is Tina underscore Young. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads and I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Who am I with these faux freckles? I feel like I should do like an ego transformation. Should I? Thumb this video if you like it. Thumb it.